I feel like it's time for us to have a deeper talk than normal. With Sean, our plan has always been to be one and two. Let's pretend I'm 11. I got to figure out a way to get from here to there quickly. We got to be number one and number two. I don't care the order. And we've had that plan over and over and over again. I want to kick your ass just like you want to kick my ass. So our friendship is based on that. Perfect. So we opened up our own business, Midwest Streetcars. We worked side by side to make our cars as fast as they could be. It's a 93 Fox body. And we helped other drivers. We rescaled it, changed the suspension. We wanted to win on the street as well. Man, we'll roll to the top together. Ain't nobody else got anything for us. No. Last season, he barely even cracked the top five. My boy right there. I, you nice know, job. I never beat you before. Nice job. I know Sean's not oblivious to the fact that he's losing races and he's not making a run for number one. Every time he loses, he spends less time at the shop. I don't know how to deal with Sean doesn't care about being number one or winning races anymore. Normally, at the beginning of every season, you know, there's a part where I scream at everybody, if you don't think you got a number one car, you shouldn't be here. But then when the guy that I know has a number one car that I share a shop with doesn't seem to mind not being a number one car or even losing that much. Basically, what I'm asking is, are you over the racing thing? Because it seems like you've lost that winning attitude, the swagger. Like, I don't want to alienate you or push you away but it, it is tough to share a shop it's, with two different sides of the spectrum. It's inevitable. When man. there's one guy who does the things he needs to do for his family and his life and his future, and then he does racing on the side. And then there's another guy who doesn't care about anything in the world but racing. After a while, though, then it starts to breed resentment because I am here 24 hours a day, it seems like. This is a conversation that's needed to happen for a while. Uh, I've kind of been waiting on this. Uh, there's something missing in my life right now. I love racing. It's my passion. It's what I love doing, but so is my family, you know? And my family is definitely gonna come first. Chief's way of all or none being at the shop 24 seven, it definitely makes him a really good racer, but that's not me. I can't be here 24 seven and uh, I need to figure out what I wanna do and come up with what's good for me and for my life. The last thing I wanna do is to hold you up from being happy or excited. And, there, and there's a reason that I haven't been up here a whole lot. I, I mean, I'll be honest with you, man. I don't wanna come up here. I don't wanna look at the car. I don't wanna be up here. And to be honest with you, man, I've been thinking about this a lot. It may be best if I leave, you know? It will push me more into doing my own thing instead of doing your thing. Maybe that's what I need, is to not depend on somebody else. I think I need to take everything to my house and work, you know? Closer to home, I get it. I at least have to try that. I think if we keep going the way that it's going right now, there may not be a chance that we can stay friends. I don't want us to resent each other. I don't want you to resent me. I don't want to resent you. And I think that if we make this change, then that won't happen. I just want you to be happy, and what you've been doing doesn't seem to make you happy. It's it's not, man. We'll be all right. Do you, I whatever know. it is, yeah. just be happy. It's been weird around here for a while because Sean hasn't been here. I've always still had that one moment at the end of the night. As I'm walking out the door, there's always my car and Sean's car. And I always say, as I'm turning the lights off, good night, Crow. We'll do it again tomorrow. Good night, Mr. Muranova. Hopefully, Sean will be here tomorrow. Now it's just good night, Crow. It just sucks. Tails. Heads. Is it heads? Let me see it. Oh. I'm going to take the left. <laughs> hey, it's a move for you to put me I over hey, in the right. I'll probably lose because I did it, but I'm still going to take the left. Good luck. Good luck, buddy. Yeah, that line sucks. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'm not real sure that it could start off any worse. Uh, another list shakeup, another first round I draw Ryan. Uh, there's not really any easy races, but I'm not sure if there's any tougher races either. The Fireball Camaro is arguably one of the fastest cars out here. So we're gonna put my little bit of tuning skills to the test right here and see how we do. This line right here is my timing. I got a little bit more timing pulled out and I got it pulled out out here all the way to where I lost the tire last night testing. This is what I had last night. I'm shortening the shift so I don't lose the tire right here and I also pulled a little timing out of it. So it should be good. If you go number one again on the second list shakeup, it'd be pretty fast. It would be cool. I don't consider Murder Nova like a really easy draw. You know, him and I ended up testing the same spot a couple nights ago. I seen his car make some passes. It looked pretty good. I'm not gonna take him lightly, but on the other side of that, there is the fact that I won the coin toss. So I'm gonna stick him in the bumpy lane, which I know is gonna be difficult for him, especially considering Chief's not helping him anymore. You know, he leaned on Chief a lot for tuning stuff. He's doing it on his own. Maybe this is the best time to get a hold of him. <laughs> I do feel like there's more pressure on me right now. There's more pressure on me to step up to the plate for me to shine. I'm gonna be doing this on my own. Every pass I make, I'm gonna be trying new things that I haven't tried before. And some of them's gonna work, some of them's not gonna work. Good luck, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Do what you do. My goal this season is pretty simple, man. I got a number one car. I feel like everybody on the list knows I got a number one car. I just gotta prove it. Are we ready? Yep. Wow. What's the call down there? I tried new tires, I spun, I had to pedal it a couple of times, and if you make any mistakes against him, you're gonna lose. So I really thought that these new tires were gonna give me a step up, but right now, I obviously don't know how to use them. We're gonna go ahead and put the old tires back on that we have had success with before and see how we do. Good look, you ever see him? Nope. Hey, you left on <laughs> Thank God I was able to outrun him this time. At least I'm guaranteed a spot in the top five. All right, well, let's see what the data looks like. Good run. What are you going to do, man? Yeah. Boy, it was upset, though. It shook like a Racing the car out of my own shop, not getting any help, is it's going to force me to be a better tuner. It's going to force me to check everything on the car, and hopefully uh, I'll get good enough. We got the cap and rotor changed out. Car fired up, sounds good revving. So at this point, we're gonna race Doc for the number seven spot. And just hope everything goes good. You got right? I got right. Trust me, it's fine. I know it's fine, it's just a harder lane. My strategy for racing the new Murder Nova for the first time is basically to use him as a test pass. He's been struggling a little bit. The car is decently fast, but my car is quite a bit faster, I feel like. So I'm gonna see if I can make a full pass on two kits. Let's get this race over with so I can call out the next spot above. Dog by a bunch. It's not gonna start. What are you gonna do, man? Heads. That's tails. tails. How bad is that water that Lutz put all in that left lane? They, the they did? Then I'll take the left. Cool. All right. Good luck, man. So at this point, the data looks exactly the way that it did the past before, except it has gotten worse. The car will not even start now. So we actually borrow a coil from Shane. At this point, he'll take parts off of his car to get me up to the starting line. 
So we put the coil on the car, it starts. I don't know if this fixes it, but I got the spot from him kind of by default. So at this point, it is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and race Shane, no matter if the car's right or wrong. I pulled a degree of timing out. I really want to win, but burning a motor down over something that I know is already hurt, it's not very smart. But if I have a chance, I'm going to try to get the win. We good? What the fuck? That's like a pissed off pinno. Yeah. I hear and feel the car popping in the two-step. That doesn't give me a whole lot of confidence. Chief bangs the light, Shane takes off, and I'm dead in the water again. Car's got a demon. That didn't fix it, did it? I'm pissed, to say the least. I'm pretty upset that, that I can't figure out what it is. Uh, you don't have a lot of time when you're out here to diagnose problems or have the parts to fix them when you do diagnose the problem. I'm just going to pull the truck up here, and, and we'll put it in the trailer. It's the end of the night, so we we're going to push that thing up in the trailer till we can get it back to the shop and figure it out. I'll call you out. OK. You good? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Cool. <laughs> Walking by Reaper. He's got this shitting grin on his face, and he says, I'm going to call you out. And I think, yeah, you would. You would call me out with a broke car. His car was already loaded up. He didn't have any intentions on racing again. Now, he's not going to do that to me. When you call me out, ready or not, we're fixing a race. I got to race Reaper again. Right now? Yeah, he's oh. going to call me out while he's broke. Go get me that extra box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six yeah. Hey, take it off my whatever. Shane's got an extra one. I don't know if that'll fix it. Yeah, let's push it back. We'll change that box. I'm pretty sure he's broke, and he just wanted to call me out because he knew I was broke. So basically, I'm going to call his bluff. Let's get the front end off. We're going to change that box out. All I'm doing is taking on his car for us in mine. <laughs> I knew when I made that call out on Sean, Sean don't back down. I thought maybe he'd want to wait till the next week, get his car fixed, give me time to get my car fixed. Sean don't roll like that. So if we don't make it, do we lose the spot or what? We'll make it. We better get ready, because we're going to have a battle of the broke cars. Get it out that barn, Jack. I've got a broke blower drive, but it's one of those deals that you have to take the chance. I need to do it careful. I got to put that bolt, bolt back in for the blower. If his car don't leave the line, maybe I can take the spot. I thought I saw it loaded up, now it's on low. Yeah. All right. I like your style. What do you want off? All of it? Yes, please. We're going to change that box out. Shane's got an extra one. We start changing any part that we have in the trailer. We get everything out. What coil is this? Yeah, one from Shane. OK, just tell me which wire is first. We change the coil again. We change the MSD8 box. We're busting our ass. And I kind of look around, and everybody on the list. I saw Dave over there, Chief's going through my laptop looking to make sure I didn't make any mistakes. This is what it's all about. Everybody coming together, helping me get my car to the line to race Reaper, even though I know it's hurt. I'm fixing to go up here and take this win. Okay, I'm gonna see if it'll start. Anything's possible in the murder, no. Trying to grab? Not really. We broke the blower drive, we loaded the car up. We gotta try to shove that bolt back in there because the whole shaft's falling off of it. I don't see it's working. Huh? I don't see it working. Pull it out. The bolt's not going to go back in. I was hoping he was going to have more trouble than I was having. That didn't quite work out for me. I'm going to have to run this car on the motor. I've never done that. Let's do it. We didn't flip for lanes. We didn't do none of that. At this point, you get in the lane that I'm not in. This is one he's not taking from me.
the official call on the race of the century. Murder Nova by half the county. Murder Nova by half the county. That was a big risk for Sean, but it paid off. Chief bangs the light. It leaves really good. It gets a little bit loose out there, but I forced it down through there. I got the win. And I, I'm also not the guy that looks stupid trying to call somebody out with a broke car. I took a gamble with Sean. This time, it didn't pay off for me. It was a bold yeah, move. Right. Hey. That's how Sean does he, it, though. Yeah, that's exactly, what, how that's Sean exactly does. what Sean does. Always he does talks that. first, thinks later. Yep. Shane, I'm going to call you out. OK, ah. cool. Ah. <laughs> he had one decent dude that was cool to him on this list. And that was Not me. Anymore. Not anymore. Somebody doesn't belong. Hey, everybody out here just went, damn. All that racing tonight, and I came here number nine, and I'm leaving here number nine. Hey, Coming in, Ed. You'll clear. OK. You need to get that oil fitting tight? Yeah. Pop. Yeah. Is what? it going to clear right up front, Asian? Keep an eye on that. Yeah, no. What do you always say, Ed? Bring it on home. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Ed's seizure. That's creepy. That's creepy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, very. Once we get this motor in, things will start moving a lot quicker. Slapping in the transmission. Bolting on the carburetor. Putting in the drive shaft. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Radiator coming in hot. Yep. We're heading to the finish line with this motor. Once this radiator's full, it'll be time to start it. Mm. All right, load her up. It's alive! This baby is purring like a kitty cat. Yeah, a 5,000 pound street eating, money making, badass kitty cat. Now it's down to testing. You know the racing scene around here. Where can we go? If you're down for testing and making some money at the same time, I'd probably go about Hutchinson. Is that on our way back? To yeah, it is. It's only 45 minutes from Salina. Sounds good to me. Yeah. We down? Oh, yeah. Let's get the hood on and go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell, dude, it's cool. We're from out of town, bro. I don't know. What's up, man? Right. What do you call this thing? Just the Jeep. <laughs> What's up, guys? What's up, man? This your car? Yes, sir. All right, awesome, man. There's some serious muscle out here. There is a lot of, a lot of power. Yeah, we're just brown. All right, nice car, dude. Oh, Good thanks. looking. Appreciate it. Hell yeah. You know, there's something about that silver Camaro that's telling me to go for it. Hey, man, if you're feeling it, just go for it. Just do it. Do you want to run the farm truck? Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, how much you want to put on it? I'll take 40. All right. Awesome. Lock it in, bro. It. Yeah. It. All right. Awesome. All right, we're going to go first? Yeah, all right. First course of the night in the farm truck fish fry. <laughs> A nice serving of some catfish kamai. Mmm, with corn on the side. Truck left hard, man. That Camaro didn't have nothing for it. Poor Camaro, man. Right. Looked like it hooked up pretty good. Yeah, it did all right. Yeah. All right, man. That was a good run. That was awesome. All right, cool. There you go. Awesome. Right. Yeah, man. It's an honor to run the old yeah. park truck, man. That was a good time. Yeah, I man. think it was ripping. Let's go back and see who else. Yeah. So we get past the Camaro, and the farm truck is singing my favorite song of horsepower. We're 1-0, and oh, and it's time to find another race and turn this baby up. I think the fastest car here is that Chevelle. He's the only one with the parachute. OK. But I'm running that Chevelle last. So for race two, Stefan found a Supra for me to race. Mm. And they tend to make me a little nervous. Supra dupra. Those Supras. Woo! Tips the scale. This is a good looking car. That was a lick.
That's embarrassingly fast. Thanks, so, good run, guys. Thanks for giving us a race. Hell yeah. Yes, sir. Dude, it was bad. Dude, I wasn't taking no chances. No Good problem. OK. He did. Thanks for the run, man. Good run. We had a few issues, but. Right, I'll I can tell you you're time. having problems back there. Yeah. Yeah, we had a few I figured issues, you did. Yeah. You're going to figure right. that thing out and hurt some feelings, man. I know it. I, w I was scared of that car. All right. Okay. All right, man. Yeah, yeah, we'll pull it around there and we'll check it. It did, it spun. Oh, yeah. And I immediately shifted it whenever I started feeling it spin. Yeah, yeah. it left better at half throttle than it did on full throttle. Right, for sure. Okay. Maybe we just kind of need to leave on motor a little bit and then Probably. smack it. Probably. Right. Okay. Yeah. This is perfect. We're breaking in the new motor and making a little cash doing it. This refresh motor is exactly what we needed. We just keep tuning it up and it keeps running better and better. Who's carburetor? Nobody owns this car? <laughs> okay. Hey, okay. Does that right. bottle go in this car? No. Oh, oh, it don't? Thank God. Okay. You, would you want to race the truck? Yeah, might as well. Okay. 20 bucks. You on yeah, that? Lock it up. 20? Yeah, All right, cool. Hell yeah, dude. We're we'll we'll giving a lane. Wanna... I want to write lane. All, All right. Yeah. Good, Good luck, it. man. All right. That made it easy. It made it really easy. Hell yeah. You guys are good sports, man. Thank you guys very much. All right. Yeah. No, oh, dude. All right, man. Pleasure's right. ours, man. Right. Really thank you guys for giving us a race. Yeah. What are you, doing? What are you got going on? <laughs> I'm, I'm wanting to get paid. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta be like that? Woo, it's Chris. Yeah, that'll work. Thank you very Appreciate much. Appreciate it. Man. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right, dude. We got one more race. Let's go. All right. Well, I guess there's no more races out here. There's no more races at all. I got one of them. Yeah, at all. We just can't I mean, seem to find Who's a got race. one? I'm right here. All right, dude, I think that this is the fastest car out here. I would agree with that. Oh, you know that it is. <laughs> yeah, I'd agree with that. OK. And uh, what lane do you want? <laughs> you pick, because whatever I pick is what you're going to go in. You don't know that. Right lane. You want the right lane? I've been right in the left lane. all night. I'll stay there. All right. How about 20 bucks? 20 yeah. bucks? Whatever you guys want to do. I'll do that. All right. I love that. Lock it in. Yep. Yep. All right. Nice, dude. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. It'll be fun. But we know what a parachute means. That means 150 mile an hour. Yeah. That's mile what nine. that means. That's an N O. -L. That's one word. Mile an hour. Mile an hour. Mile an hour. <laughs> we just really appreciate it. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see you up there here in a minute. All right. Right? Sounds, Sounds good. good. It's fun. Yeah, I like it's it. It's fun. It's a good time, man. We ready to rock? OK. <clears throat> We ain't gonna outrun this Chevelle. You don't think? No. Stay positive. Oh, I'm gonna give him everything. All the farm truck he's ever thought about getting. He's a bracket racer, dude. Dude, pretty good night of fishing. <laughs> Who's next? I think we've run out of racers, bro. <laughs> well, let's go back to the 405 and get some of that Floridian money. Ha-ha! Yeah. <laughs> that truck runs. That truck runs, no doubt about it. That's a good looking car. We thought that you're the heaviest hitter out here. I didn't have enough for you. That truck's a lot more than what people think it is. All okay, right. Man.